There we have it, biggest weekend of the year. What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money, so if you like money, hit that subscribe button. As you can see behind me, we got more over here. It was a crazy weekend of sales. Quarter four is in full force. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything that sold, where I got it, how much I paid for it. And at the end of the video, we'll talk about the total profit I made on everything. All right, here's everything that sold. We're gonna break it all down one by one. Let's come over here. We've got these two filters that I got at my local Habitat for Humanity. These were like two or three bucks a piece. This one sold for $30 and this one sold for $20. We got these diapers, I believe. Um, these were 50 cents actually at my local bins. I'll talk about those a little more later, my local liquidation place. And I sold these for 20 bucks. We've actually got under here, we've got two cases of these. Um, and they're just these Phillies. Um, I think they're ornaments actually, but the little Santa Claus guys, obviously them going to the World Series helped. That person bought 14 of them for $40 and I had like a dollar per case in those. Those were from BitFTA. Uh, then we sold three boxes of undies. These were $10 at the Coles Clearance event, called out in my group Bread and Butter. Um, and I sold all these for 28 bucks a piece. Next, I don't know why South Dakota State Jackrabbit stuff's going off, but it is. $5.99 for this beanie here. And I sold that for ten dollars and then this was i believe two or three bucks at marshall's as well the same place i got this one i think they sent it to the wrong place but anyways i sold this hamper for 28 dollars next we've got this tommy hill figure marshall's beanie eight dollars on that and i sold that just for 22 bucks nothing big we got a couple more hats here this was from my dallas sourcing trip 7.99 for this Mavs hat and sold it for $26. And then this was a bread and butter call out as well. Forget what member called these out, but these were like six or seven bucks and selling them all day for 30 bucks. Then we've got, this was for my local liquidation place as well on 50 cent day, just a CD, sold it for 12 bucks. And we got this Homer Simpson um, ornament here. And that was not $5, it's actually from Five Below, but they were liquidating it out. It was $2.50 after Christmas last year, and I sold him for $13. Next, we got this Raging Cajuns hat, $5.99 from Marshalls, and I sold that for 20 bucks. We got this LSU hat that was from Hibbit, actually, the year after they won the national championship. This was four bucks, and I ended up selling it for 17. We've got this Tennessee Tech hat here, $2 from Marshalls, and I sold this for $18. This was a pallet hat, so like two or three bucks um, for this Toronto Raptors hat, and I sold it for $17.99. We sold two of these Pittsburgh Steelers beanies. These were $6 from Marshalls, and I sold them for 20 bucks a piece. Uh, these first four or five here are all pallet hats, so like two or three bucks. Sold this Arkansas hat for 15. Sold this Virginia hat here for 18. Sold these both to the same buyer, $17 a piece, combined on shipping, still under a pound, so first class, so that's big. Uh, this is some like minor league team, I think, but I sold it for 25 bucks. And then we've got this Columbus Blue Jackets hat I got from Burlington for $8, sold that for 24 bucks. We've got this Ohio Bobcats hat for $5 from TJ Maxx and sold that for 20 bucks. Then we've got this New York Mets hat here. This was from Nordstrom Rack, 50% off, so they were $7.50. They actually may have even been five bucks. I bought them a bunch of different times when they stocked them online. Anyways, I'm selling them for 30 bucks. Uh, we got this Callaway visor here. Shout out to Kid the Biz in Bread and Butter. He hooked me up with a bunch of brand new cases of Callaway visors and hats at $6 a unit. So really nice buy there and sold this for $27.99. I've been moving the hats as well, really well. Uh, that's another big piece of bread and butter is we have a lot of people near a lot of different like liquidation places now and in our bread and butter marketplace our sell channel they are actually unloading a bunch of really good inventory for people so if you're in there definitely make sure to check the sell channel and get in on some of these wholesale buys next we've got this overwatch hat here uh, this is my last one of these i believe and i sold this for 25 bucks that was in a pallet for two dollars we've got these three Ohio State hats that were from that recent Ohio State deal where they were all $5. And I sold this one for 20 bucks. I sold this one for $23. And this one's really cool, this throwback looking like Woody Hayes hat. This one here went for $25. Then these two were from a different auction. Um, these were like a dollar and Ohio State store was going out of business a couple years ago. And I ended up selling this one for 15 and this one for 18. 
Now we've got this North Face hoodie here. Uh, this was a bread and butter call out in the middle of summer. These were $17. How could you go wrong with a $17 North Face hoodie? You can't, and I sold it for 43 bucks. Okay, while these are getting in my way, let's just knock the Crocs out because I'm tired of stepping on these. Uh, we got these Santa Cruz loafers here. Uh, these were actually just called out a couple weeks ago in bread and butter. These were $21 a piece, and I'm getting $48 to $55 depending on the size. I've already sold several of them. Next, we've got these Real Tree Crocs, another bread and butter call. All these Crocs are called out in bread and butter. I don't know of any other cook groups cooking Crocs like we are. It's just a great bread and butter inventory that sells. Uh, but these were 20 bucks and selling them for $50. I obviously can't say where I got some of these because we're still cooking those websites. Then we've got these. These were, I believe, $15 um, lined Crocs in the middle of summer. So we're cooking summer stuff in the winter. We're cooking winter stuff in the summer. Anyways, move these for 40 bucks. These I got right after 4th of July when they were liquidating those. Figured I would have to hold them through 4th of July, but these were 15 bucks and I sold them for 35. Let's keep on going with the Crocs. These we got in like March. We called out these Christmas Crocs that were $27 a piece and I'm getting $70 a pop for those. Um, I got these Jordan gloves. I called out a bunch of gloves and bread and butter a couple days ago actually. Um, and these were $20 and I sold them for $48. Thought I was gonna have to hold on to some of these till next football season, but at 20 bucks for a pair of Jordan or Nike football gloves, like you can't go wrong. Then we've got these Spider-Man shoes that were from my local liquidation place as well. Those were like four bucks and I'm selling those. This is a bigger size for 22. We've got another pair of these Air Camden slides. I barely have any of these left. Hayden called these out in the group. These were $35 selling all day for a hundred bucks on Amazon. We've got these waffles that waffles are pretty much always gonna get marked down to like 40 or 50 bucks. And then they're easily going to sell for like anywhere from 90 to 100. I got 95 for these, so nothing big, but it adds up when you do it in volume. We got these on a pricing air. It's a mic set. Um, and these were $40 on Amazon. It was an Amazon pricing air we called out in the group and I sold it for 120. All right, back into the Crocs. We got two of these bleach lined Crocs and these were $20 a piece and I sold them for 45 a pop. Just called out more of these the other day actually. And then we've got these Raylan lined Crocs. These were um, $18 and I sold these for 43. Next, we've got this Grand Valley State hoodie here. Um, and this was $2 at a local embroidery shop and I sold this for $20. We've got three of these Nationals rally towels here. These all went to the same buyer for 40 bucks and I got these for $3 a piece at Dick's a couple years ago. We got a couple pairs of shoes here. Picked these up, I think with Rob in Austin, Texas. $40 at Marshall's and sold them for 85 bucks. And then we've got these Paul George's that I keep selling. This might be my last pair. Um, these were 30% off of that price and I sold them for $100 as well. Then we got these new balances that weren't the best buy, but they are selling pretty well. These were like 50 bucks. I got a bunch of different colorways of these and I guess it's not that bad of a buy. I sold it for 105 bucks. I just have a lot of pairs of those. Um, let's come on over here. These Crocs are in my way again. All right, and then we've got these Steelers sandals here. These were like five bucks at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, maybe even Gabe's. I sold those for 20 bucks. I wish there were Yeezys in here. There are not. These are just the empty boxes. Watch that video if you haven't. You can sell empty boxes of pretty much anything. And I sold these for 20 bucks a box. Then we got this at my pallet place as well. Um, these were $24 for a lot of four. Um, I was selling the Wave 4s of these. Um, these are the Wave 3s, so they don't go for as much. And I thought these were the Wave 4, so I kind of made a mistake. But I still ended up getting 40 bucks for these, so I'm not going to lose money. The Wave 4s, I was getting 84. Then we've got this jacket here. This was actually um, from that eBay store that I bought out. I'm already in the profit there, so we're not even having any cost of goods there. Um, I paid $1,200 for that whole store, but I'm probably over like two grand in profit so far on it, and I still have a lot to list. But anyways, I sold this for 50 bucks. Next, we have this Mickey sweater that was $12.99, and I sold it for $40. That was at Burlington. This was from the Goodwill bins, so probably like 50 cents for this little kid's, I think it's a Yukon jacket, and I sold it for 20 bucks. We got this Baltimore Ravens hoodie here. This was from that eBay store that I bought out as well, um, and I ended up selling this for $36. And then this was from a while back. I can't remember exact. No, I can't remember. I got this at Sports Authority when it went out of business. Don't ask me why they had a bunch of Christmas sweaters, but I still had some of these left. And these were like one or two dollars a piece. 
and I sold this for 20 bucks. And then behind here, we've got two Christmas trees. Those both sold for $90. Those are just six footers, so they're kind of small, so they're not gonna go for as much. Christmas trees have been absolutely flying for me. Under this guy right here, we have a bread and butter call out that I can't, I can't give it up, guys. I can't give up the bread and butter leads for free until they're done. Um, actually, all three of these are, but I can't show that one. There was no way to really hide it without showing what it was. But anyways, that was $25 and sold it for 75. And then this right here, you can't tell what it is. It's not $20.99 either at Big Lots. We had a coupon. I got it down to 12 bucks and I sold it for 40 bucks. Another bread and butter call out right there. And then another B&B lead that is currently active as well in store and online, I believe still. Um, this was $44 after the coupon from Big Lots and I sold it for 135. Then in here, we have a PS5. These PS5s are still flying, guys. I am making tons of money on these as fast as they come in. I've probably copped about 10 of them over the last week. Uh, that was a digital, so I paid $400 for it and sold it for $630. Market's coming down a little bit, but there's still plenty of profit to be made. So that pretty much does it for everything. We've completely trashed the desk, but now we're going to get into packaging everything up, and we'll get you guys the final numbers. There we have it. Biggest weekend of the year. All right, so let's run down the numbers of a fantastic weekend of sales. On eBay, we sold 78 items for $3,400. On Amazon, we sold two items for $130. And on Mercari, we sold four items for $187. For a total of 84 items sold for $3,717 in gross sales. Now to get our net profit, we need to take out all of our costs. So take out our cost of goods sold of $1,184, our shipping of $420, and our fees of $446 for a total net profit of $1,667. Sales are rising as quarter four continues on. Continue to get those listings up. Continue to revise those old listings because this is the best time of year. If you're just looking to begin, start listing stuff on eBay and Mercari. Get stuff up because literally you can sell anything in quarter four. Everything is flying. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. You can also check out my cook group, Bread and Butter. First link in the description. You can go to our website and see exactly what we offer. And you can join from there as well if you're interested. Again, guys, all glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would not be where I am today without him in my life. And I'm just truly blessed to be able to do this as a full-time job and to share it with all of you. And I don't make any of these videos to brag. I simply want to motivate and show what it's like to be a full-time reseller. So keep on hustling, keep on grinding, because there's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.